Hey, hey these are Geek Guardians. I'm Carl. I'm Brooke. I'm Felicia. And I'm Lindsay. And we just finished our first semester as freshmen. We want to share our experience so far with you. And along the way, provide some tips and tricks to make it through your daily life at Cuca. Hope you enjoy. The first tip we have for you is to make sure you stay on top of your work so you don't fall behind. Some ways you can achieve this is by practicing your time management and making a weekly schedule and sticking to it. This practice will help you keep up with your work and leave you less time to procrastinate. Another thing you can do to help yourself stay organized is to create a calendar, to-do list, or some type of tool to help you remember due dates for homework assignments. Getting behind on work can be very stressful, as we all know from previous experience. College is not the same as high school, and once you get too far behind, it's really hard to come back from, and most professors won't accept your late work. We just wanted to show you how we keep ourselves on track, like calendars, planners, and such. So one thing I recommend doing is getting a calendar and I hang mine above my bed because it is the first thing I see when I wake up and the last thing I see when I go to bed and it just reminds me that I have assignments that I need to be doing but um, at the beginning of each month I sit down and I go on Moodle and I pull up the syllabus for each class and I write each assignment that's going to be due for that entire month on my calendar. And I color code each class so that I don't get confused. And when I complete the assignment, I cross it off in a black pen. But um, I strongly recommend doing this method because I, it's helped me a lot. As someone who procrastinates and um, is not very organized, this method has worked immensely for me. So I strongly recommend it to anybody that struggles with organization or procrastinating. I actually do best just using a weekly agenda, so basically all my classes have a color. Um, I write down what I have to do that day, and then if I finish it, I cross it out. Um, so yeah, that's how I stay on top of my work. More advice from our personal experience is before getting here, you're going to want to get to know your roommate. You don't need to become best friends with them, but you'll want to get to know the person you're going to be living with because you'll be spending more time together than you think. In my case, I didn't talk to my roommate much before getting here, so we never really clicked, and it definitely makes the room awkward. You can also plan things out with your roommate, such as who is going to bring a fridge or a microwave. You also might want to plan out what's going to go where, such as fridges, microwaves, and even who's getting which side of the room. One thing you might want to invest in is a nice rug to make your room comfortable and more like home. Hey! Oh my god! Hey, I uh, hey, I saw that your door was open, so I wanted to come say hi. Hi, I'm Carl. What's your name? I'm Brooke. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your major here? Uh, my major is occupational therapy. What's okay, yours? I'm a prim major. Oh, nice. I live just a couple doors down, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I just wanted to stop in and say hi and meet all the new people that are here. That's really good. I like that. Yeah. You're a freshman. Yeah. Me too. So this is the importance of having your door open and socializing with people in your dorm. It's extremely important to get to know the people you're living with. Because, you know, if, if you don't, you're just going to sit in your room and you're not really going to do much. You know, you need to get to know the people around you. This way you make a lot of friends that way. I, I did it. My friend Brooke did it. Uh, every you got to keep your door open. You know, you don't want to sit in your room all the time because that just could get boring. It will get boring really fast. I know you guys think, sit in my dorm, I'm doing whatever. You got you to gotta go out there and socialize. If you see somebody's door open, that means they want you to come in and socialize. They don't want, they don't want you to walk by and not say anything and sit in your room your neighbors everybody wants to get to know you everybody is excited to be here especially your first week everybody's excited to be on campus and everybody wants to meet new people so you know do not be afraid to go into people's rooms and socialize because that's one of the biggest parts of college is going and socializing meet new people especially in a new place if you're from far two hours one hour 30 minutes away you don't know anybody here so you got to try to try your best to meet people because nobody's going to do it for you yeah, it's super, super nerve-wracking, but you have to remember, everybody's as nervous as you are, yeah. and but it's super, super beneficial to know the people that you're around. Yeah, especially our, our entire floor. We all love each other. We're like one big family. You gotta try it. You gotta do it. You gotta. Another thing every student should try to do is keep in contact with your professors. One of CUCA's pros is that it's a smaller school, meaning you're able to have a relationship with your professors, so you're going to want to capitalize on that as much as possible. Another thing is, most professors want you to come in and ask questions, no matter what. If you have a question, no matter how foolish it may seem, ask. It's better to ask a dumb question, no, than to be confused later on. Your professors are also there to help you, and by not asking, you're only hindering yourself. 
It is also a great idea to stay in contact with your academic advisor. They will be able to help you and answer any questions you may have. Your advisor will help create a four-year plan and give you an idea of what your future schedule will look like. Do not wait till the last minute to contact your advisor about classes next semester. In some cases, the classes you want to take may be full and then you're out of luck. Another thing your advisor will come in handy for is when you start the process of field period. They can help you search for potential options and help guide you through it. Another thing we wanted to touch base on was laundry because a lot of people come to school and don't know how to do laundry. And I know that sounds stupid for people who know how to do laundry, but you'd be surprised. So what I like to do is I like to start by sorting my colors in my room. I'll take a few, I'll put like color, dark colors together, whites together, stuff like that. Another thing I personally did was I took my my detergent and softener and put them in the bottles because it would just be easier to take to the laundry room. And now we'll take you to the laundry room. We're in this space hall of the laundry room and we're actually out the laundry. So there's two different types of machines here. You have this one that's actually the best to use. I like this one. This one is a little bit You start by putting your detergent in. Detergent goes here, softener here, bleach here. Eyeball it normally, depending on how many clothes you have in there. Softener goes in there. And then if you're doing a bleach load, the bleach load goes right here. Now if you're using the other sort of water, you would pour in your detergent in the bowl, and your softener in the bowl first and then toss your clothes in there. And then you come back. You just put the rest of your clothes in there and then you gotta shut it off. Just close it. So you, I like to do run mine on medium, normal, and warm. If you do it too hot, could burn your clothes in the dryers. I know people have had burn their clothes before. And you just hit start. Now for the dryers. Uh, you just take a temperature, normally go in medium heat. Just like I said, you could burn your clothes. These these aren't the best dryers. And before you do any laundry and after, always try and clean this out. Pull the lid out, toss it right in the dryer. Now, after each, whenever you run your dryer or your washer, you have 10 minutes to get your clothes out before somebody else can come in and toss it onto the table. And then it's so just gonna be on the table. Wet or dry, they can put it in the dryer for you if they want. But after 10 minutes, it's there right before now. We try to keep it clean. Most of the time, it's not for the space, but that's about it. <laughs> yes, and um, there are instructions and a list on the wall that you can look at. And also, there are instructions on each dryer and on each washing machine and some tips like not to use as much detergent. Now we're gonna talk about the KC portal and uh, they don't really touch much on about it. I didn't know how to use it or how to even get to it when I first got here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So all you're gonna do is go to Google, whatever you use, type in KC portal. And it'll be the first one current students keep with college. You're gonna to wanna to take KC portal login. I'm logged in already cause this is my laptop. But um, when you get there, you just type in your email and your password and that Cuca will give you. And then you go down, this is the page. Not many people really use this. I mean, to my knowledge, I never really use this. I have my Moodle here is what we're gonna talk about next, actually. This is basically what you're gonna do all your schoolwork with. This is like all your assignments are gonna be turned in through here. Assignments are gonna be signed through here. Even uh, PowerPoints, you need to go back and look at a PowerPoint. Some teachers will do that. And uh, basically we're looking at uh, a CRIM, a CRIM students schedule right here, CRIM courses. You got music, English 112, CRIM 101, a few CRIM classes, KC 101, a standard CUCA college class that all of you will take. And so we're just going to go to the dashboard. This is really where you're going to, you're going to want to favorite this up here. Put that right up there because you're going to go here a lot and just getting here through that is way more easy. So you basically, this is all, this is how it's set up. You can see all your classes here. We'll look at one of these. Here's uh, English 112 course syllabus sample evaluation sheet everything's here you find the email you can contact the email the teacher through here um zoom links all this that 
Um, some teachers will have it set up more similar to this as they go through weeks, have certain things signed for different weeks, like week one, week six. Here we got week six. This is an assignment. That's a PowerPoint. Just things if you need to go back to, you have your PowerPoints here. Your assignments are most likely going to be assigned through here unless it's uh, something else. Some teachers will not really use Moodle, but most of them generally do. And um, that's about it for Moodle. And now Brooke will talk to you about KC Self-Service. Okay, so now we're going to talk about some of the other categories that are on the KC portal. So we have KC Self-Service, which I'm going to be talking about next. We have Life at KC, which is all of the upcoming events and activities and different resources where you can contact people for that. We have um, COVID information on here, which is all the policies that are in place for the school right now. Such and as mask and uh, yeah. social distancing, yep. things like that. And we have Microsoft Teams on here, which will, there's live chats where you can talk about any issues you're having with financial aid or registration. But um, self-service is super important. Um, you can make a latest payment on all your tuition in here. And There's, you can come here for tickets, parking tickets. Yep. And you can access all your financial aid that you've received. And your grades are on here and any transcript requests that you have. But student planning is the most important. Um, you can view all your credits on here that you have already completed. And you can also plan for next semester's classes on here. But this is what um, a freshman schedule looks like um, for a criminology major but it will tell you what classes you have on each day and the length of the classes. But on here, you can um, plan your next schedule for the next semester, which is super helpful and super easy, by the way. But um, like, as you can see here, like he has his schedule planned out for next semester, but it's super easy. You just search for courses and your advisor will help you with this, by the way. Um, but you search for courses that are necessary and you plan them accordingly to what times are convenient for you. And then when the registering time comes, you hit register now and all your classes will be registered and set for next semester. All right, there you go. You got it. Well, that's all we have for you. We hope our advice helps you as you begin your college journey and you have as good as a first semester as we did. C good luck and congratulations on becoming a wolf. Woo! <laughs>